Okay, we're now on to step number 10, failsafe settings. The first part is our radio failsafe. I just want to pop open the mission planner. If I go to initial setup, failsafe, I make sure my props are off the quad, I can see the, the values that the radio is reading when it's on. What we want is radio 3 to, to change. I turn off, um, radio 3 doesn't change, it has 1037. When I turn on, it still says, well, it says 1080, so 1085, right? But that's not really enough of a difference um, for it to read. So what we want to do is set up the radio failsafe. And basically what the radio failsafe does is it says when the radio is off, um, or in other words, the, the radio 3 is below 975, it's going to do the radio failsafe, which in this case is enable always land. So it's really important that we set that up. I'll need to disconnect my uh, APM first right? and unplug the USB cable. First off is make sure the receiver is powered off. So we do that by unplugging the USB cable right here. There should be no lights on. And the next step is we're going to uh, use the bind plug to plug it into the bind slash dad. If you see on the instructions right here, it's right below the throttle. Uh, and here's my little bind plug here. All right, so we're going to plug that little bind plug in. And now what we're going to do is turn the receiver on. So we do that by right here. There should be a little orange blinking light. Let's pop up into a big screen here. Right there. All right, so what we're going to do is now turn on our transmitter. All right. Let's first make sure our transmitter trims are centered. We do that by um, pressing these little trim adjustment buttons. And when we hear the little beep, that means we're centered. We press the throttle to trim down 20 times until it's all the way to the bottom, and then turn the transmitter off. Right, and then I'm going to rebind it to the remote. So let, let me show you how I do that. So I'll just show you right here. Push it all the way down. Until it's down to the bottom. And I'm going to turn on my transmitter. Then I'm going to bind it to my transmitter by holding the, the bind button here and turning on the remote. So what I'm looking for is a solid light, a solid orange light on the receiver. You can see the light turn off and then it goes to solid. Just to show you, here is the solid orange light. I can see it. Perfect. I'm going to remove the bind plug right here and then disconnect the power. And then press the throttle trim up 20 times until we hear that center tone. There it is. That's the center tone. Okay, so now we're going to go back into the mission planner and make sure we did it correctly this time. Now, see our radio's off. It is now reading 965. When I turn my radio on, it says 1086. One more time, just look at radio 3. Oops, don't move the throttle up. So radio 3 says 965, 964, 966. Turn it on. It says 1088. Okay, so that means we did it right. And we should be on enabled always land. So this is radio enabled always land. And now the FS PWM, or FELSA PWM, is basically the value it will read uh, uh, when to turn off. So if, if the value is below 975, which we have 965, it's going to um, turn off and run this FELSA, which is always land. So we basically want to make sure that the failsafe PWM is under the value showing radio 3, which we got that. And now we're going to turn the transmitter on and wait for the controls to respond. All right. So we also want to make sure that the radio 3 PWM increases from the value set earlier. So we have 965 or 975 or 965 radio 3, and it goes up to 1086. And that's it for the radio failsafe.